Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little site here with the new Divi4 theme. It's absolutely awesome. It keeps getting better and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So we put together this little section yesterday, the large icon thing. Today let's put together our little email form here for collecting email addresses and names for your lists. Okay, let's go to a page that doesn't have that on. There we are, here's the one we've been on. I'm gonna enable the visual build, just left click at the top here. And the fantastic Divi Builder, Visual Builder lets you build on the front end, which, which is absolutely awesome. Incidentally, the Divi Builder is available as a standalone plugin for any WordPress site. Okay, so here we are, and this is where I want to put my form. Now, I'm going to just do something quickly. I'm going to add a new section because I know there's going to be questions after this about why I didn't use this particular module, which is the email opt in right here. If you just click on that module by Default Divi comes with all of these modules as standard, plus another 16 if you've got WooCommerce installed. So I'll click on that. And there we are, you've got a beautiful opt-in form. So that's how easy it is. But for some reason, it may be because I've just upgraded the latest version of WordPress, or it may be because I've upgraded the theme. If I save this now, and exit the Visual Builder, go down there, For some reason, the fields don't show up. Um, now, I don't, like I say, I don't know whether that's because I've just upgraded to a new version of WordPress or whether it's a theme issue with the latest version. Either way, not a problem. I'm going to show you how to do it with the other plugin. So let's go back up here, enable the Visual Builder. Let's scroll on down to where we want to work. And I'm sure they'll correct this issue in the next update, whether it's WordPress or Divi. But I'm going to use a different module. So let's hit the little Add New Module button, left click. I'm simply going to use a contact form. And as you can see, it's popped it in there. I'm not going to need a message field because all I want is a name and an email address. I'm not going to need a capture. There is a button there, but it's blue on blue, so you can't see it. So we'll fix that in a moment. So let's get rid of the message field. And if we go down a little bit in the text field, you can give it a title. If that's closed up, just simply click on it and it'll open up. Don't want a title. Success message, let's say thanks for subscribing. Submit button. Well, you can't see it, but it says submit there. Let's make our say subscribe. email this is pretty important this is where you want these details to be sent to so it's you at your email dot com or wherever you want it to be sent don't need to mess with the message pattern elements well we will we can get rid of the capture here so let's click on elements flip that to no if you want them to be redirected to a different page, either on the site or an external site, you can click this and enable it and just put the URL in there. I don't want them. I want it to stay on our site when they've submitted the form and it'll just pop up with that uh, success message. All right, let's have a look at our button here and, and uh, make it visible for ourselves. So let's go to the design, down to button. All I'm going to do at this point is hit the use com custom styles for button can just change everything to white there we are you can see your button now that's a bit better all right well both of these fields i want to stretch a hundred percent of the container of this column that they're in basically so i've got one and then the second one underneath and then the button so if we go back to our content settings here's each of them each of the fields name and email just go into the hit the call go in there Let's go to design, layout, make full width. 
save it'll take you back to the main content for main contact form settings again rinse and repeat for the second one design layout make full width great now then I want my button to stretch the whole width same as these fields above I guess I want to drop it down a bit because I want the space to be the same as above as well between these two I've written a bit of CSS code and I'll put it below the video so you can copy it and use it if you wish if I go over to my dashboard down to Divi to theme options I'm in the general tab down at the bottom you'll find the custom CSS field you can also get there via the theme customizer I've already got my code in there but I've commented it out so I'm going to reactivate it I'm going to save my changes well, let's go back to where we were let's save these page changes then we'll go about styling and when I refresh that should be over on the left hand side there and pop down just a little bit more so let's save exit the visual builder and refresh the page So just make sure if we go down there that button should be on the left hand side now yep sure is fantastic let's enable the visual builder again go down to where we want to work and that bit of custom CSS will be unique to this module right here because I've used a CSS ID right let's start styling this the way we want it very easy with the Divi theme here. So contact form settings, let's go into the first one, name. I want to go to design. I'll say field. Go down. I don't want to change the color or the font or anything like that. I'm going to leave it exactly the same. Obviously, you can play with yours if you want to. Don't want any text shadow. But I do want border wise. I want them to be round like our buttons that we've had in other places. So I'm going to give it border of 50. It'll put in the PX for you. And as long as you've got that linked, it'll do all four at once. So let's just go down a little bit more. I'm just going to give it a little bit of box shadow on the bottom. Box shadow. There we go. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. Save that. We don't have to go into the next one to do it. I can simply right click on this and say copy item styles. Right click on the one below and paste item styles. And as you can see it's done it now if we go to the design tab now in our contact form settings we need to customize our button but the first thing I want I want it to be stretched full width so I'm going to go to the advanced and use a bit of custom CSS when you open it up scroll down you've got before main element after title here's the button I'm going to type width 100% semicolon in case I want to add some more and as you can see it's stretched at 100% which is what I wanted the, the whole width so let's go back to our design let's go down to button custom style for the button yes text size, size I'm not going to change or the text color button background I'm going to make the orange color we've been using up above I'll make the border the same color now we can set a hover state by hovering over the background going to the little arrow there and it says desktop and hover desktop is the non hovering state so when there's not a mouse over it hover obviously is when you've got your mouse over it now I'm simply going to take the opacity down on this color so just left click on the color and I'm going to pop that down just so it shows that it's active a little bit slightly different from the non hover state so we got regular state hover state right moving on down I'm going to leave the border as it is we want to give this a bit of a oh another thing when I hover over it it's got that little icon I don't want that you may want that Elegant Themes gives you all these icons to choose from. I'm going to simply flip that to no. 
and as you can see it's gone button text shadow don't well actually we used a bit didn't we on the other button so I'll put a bit on there don't want to do any margins I'll give it exactly the same box shadow as the fields above if we go back up let's make the corners round so we want to go up to border radius here we are border radius and just change that to 50 there we go save our changes save our page changes and exit the visual builder and let's go down and see what we've got there you have it you've got your little contact form for collecting names and email addresses i hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day